I would like to start expressing my sympathy to the family of the victims in the recent attacks in Mumbai. I would like to express my appreciation to all of you, government, intergovernmental, and civil society and academic who are present in this uh, important meeting, and also those of you who had been prevented to come, although they would commit to come, nevertheless. We were missing you, me in particular, during the important privacy discussions that would have been benefit from your contribution. Let's keep in mind that this forum is founded on the active involvement of all of us. We hope to be in full composition next year in, the, in Cairo. Let me now, uh, let me now um, reflect on the forum and our achievement on the last three days. I will make a few suggestions of the substance I may propose ideas for the next IGF. It is good that interface, it is good that the interface um, on cyber crime, cyber security and open is now explored together with privacy issues. Those subjects are strictly interlinking and deserve such a, a combined reflection and the discussion should continue taking the, priva the privacy di dimension. However, this framework should not limit the discussion of privacy. We have observed that the discussion in the context of cybersecurity and cybercrime necessarily take the avenue of criminal actions and how will be meaningful prevented without illegally restrict fundamental human rights such as privacy and freedom of expression. However, this discussion does not cover the wider dimension of consumer and internet users' privacy in otherwise perfectly legal venues, setups and spaces such as uh, e-commerce of online users. Because of these restrictions in this topic combinations of privacy and cybercrime and security, the full potential of the discussion for the disadvantage of information privacy and data protection has not been addressed in the main session, and it should not be as it should be nor it has been taken into account in the report back in the morning session. I would like to propose to you that information privacy and data protection be considered as independent topic to be addressed in the main session in the NAE IGF in Cairo. In relation to privacy and security, there were many meaningful contributions during the morning session. Uh, for example, those done by Mr. Dorotá regarding the use of intrusive technologies and their implication of privacy. The implication of privacy of location tracking technologies uh, such as biometric RFID technologies could be a theme to be discussed. I also would like to pick up the proposal made in the morning to discuss this in a multidisciplinary approach, economical, social, legal, and technological point of view. It includes sessions of privacy engagement technologies, technologies that are considered privacy in its design. Other topics were privacy and social networks and specific attention on minors. Finally, it would be nice that during the organizations of the forums, uh, the, ma the members of the advisory committee could work with the communities working on these issues to create a, a, a debate during the, the main sessions. The most important part is that we are all the stakeholders together discussing in these venues. We would like to have a more real debate. The problem is in the granularity and not in the general statement. Thank you.